Well, day will come, we all will join that line White Rider, White Rider They come to claim me now, I had my time Reckon he can make the time? The old timer elbows you as you try to get a look from the edge of the pen. Thick dust kicking up from the Bronco's hooves. The cowboy's body swings like a reed being whipped in the air. He doesn't fall quite yet. I've been watching this for years. You can hear him masticate something inside his leathery jaw. Tobacco, probably. You never know till it's over. The cowboy's body seems to bend entirely around itself as he sails through the air, propelled by one last buck from the horse. He lands back first on the sand with a puff of dust and a pained grin.
people throng the fair, filling the air with laughter and chit-chat. Kids thread and weave through the stalls, laughing, and knots of farmers stand discussing the various animals on show. The cow is resplendent. It seems to glow in the sunshine, a winner's ribbon pinned on its bridle. The women smile when they see you looking. The one holding the bridle waves you over. Isn't she a beaut? First in her category. The woman sat milking chimes in. She deserves it, wouldn't you say? She doesn't wait for an answer. Want to try some? You walk over as she dips a cup in the milking bucket. As you get closer, you see the patches on the cow's skin. Thick, irregular clumps of scales. The woman holds out the froth-laden cup. The milk is thick and slimy. It tastes meaty. Now your lips have parted the white froth. You see the liquid has a livid purple color, like a bruise. One of the women giggles. <laughs> you have a mustache. cutting across the sliver of sky you can see framed by the crowns of vast redwoods. But it's gotten closer. The cry that echoed from afar now seems dangerously near. And suddenly, the eagle swoops down, claws splayed before it, wings spreading into a crescent of knife-sharp feathers. It dives at you like a bomber biplane, body contracting into a bullet racing groundward. You tell yourself you won't flinch. Something soft and incredibly fast brushes against your face. When you open your eyes, the eagle is climbing toward the sky already. A little forest mouse caught in one claw, wrinkled tail flapping in the wind.
precariously raised as a tiny jetty over a creek, cutting its way through the woods. She's dressed in a simple baby blue dress of the same cloth as her daughter's. Both are bent at the waist, staring into the clear water. It fell somewhere in here. It can't have gotten far. She has the rocky voice of a distraught person who's unused to being distraught. Hey, you! She runs towards you, looking through displaced locks of wavy black hair. Do you see my ring down there in the water? Your eyes scan the bottom of the water, looking for a glint of metal among the moving shimmers of tiny, silver-scaled fish. You reach down into the water, gingerly grasping a narrow band of gold. Oh, Lord, thank you so much! She beams, all but stepping into the water to take it from you. If you hadn't come around, I'd have lost my grandmother's ring! The ring's magical, the young girl blurts out. Her mother gives her a mock stern look, as though the daughter has just given away a big secret. You drop it in the river, and it grants a wish. The mother laughs, shaking the water from her hair. Why, I wished a stranger would roll into town with some stories. You see me here? You think you know me? I didn't start out in the gutter. I was raised right. Mama taught me to read off the Bible. Thought I'd save up my nickels for the collection plate and buy story rags instead. That smell of wood and paper. Hmm. Anyhow, you got any stories that end looking up? I miss those hopeful ones. sure makes me smile. Talking about heaven. I guess I had it back then. Lived in a little house in Louisville with a good mama and a daddy who worked hard at the factory. Never knew I had dreams for something bigger till I read those stories. But you know, the books I miss the most is the hopeful ones. Got any of those? Thank you.
You got a ways to go before that store is in shape for the rags. Travel? Those rags showed me everything travel could be. They took me all over the world. I sailed up the Nile in Egypt. I seen the Statue of Liberty and all those folks coming to America. All of it. So anyway, I miss a good ghost story. Something spooky anyway. You got any? Those scary ones can be good, the way you tell them. Traps? Suppose I like those stories, on account of seeing my daddy working himself so hard he came home to drink. Ain't no way out of that, let me tell you. But you tell me, what's the wildest thing you've seen on the roads out here? Anything good and exciting? My blood's pumping. That's the kind I used to like as a boy. Well, we're talking about the rules. My daddy hated those rags. He whipped me good. Told me hard work's the only way to survive in this world. No use living in my head. So I miss them blood-pounding adventure stories. You got any like that? My daddy said those stories aren't like the world really is. He was right. When it comes to the past, I remember those stories better than what I did yesterday. Right now seems to slip away, but the past never leaves me. My daddy wanted me to quit reading them rags. Said it kept me from hard work. Got his wish, but <laughs> he didn't get hard work instead. Anyway, I'm headed out this way when the sun comes up. I like your tales. Hope we cross paths again. <laughs> <laughs>